few months ago, I had a chance to sit down with one of Earth's most decorated soldiers, Admiral David Anderson. He was kind enough to answer my questions and talk about his career. Today, the Admiral is on Earth, leading the defense of our home against the Reapers. We have no communication with him or any soldiers on Earth, but we can't forget what they're doing for us. Tonight's show is dedicated to all of the soldiers out there, fighting and dying to keep us safe. Admiral Anderson, today marks the 30th anniversary of the N7 program. Can you describe your first day of training in this now famous program? The Interplanetary Combatives Training Program is all business from day one. How so? We're given basic gear then separated and stranded on an asteroid with no nav data. The test ends when the last person runs out of oxygen. Sounds daunting. What happens to the ones who run out of air first? Out of the program. The best N7s can survive alone, but work together to survive even longer. Uh, that's very impressive, Admiral. Deep space survival training. Uh, that has to be... so difficult. All of it would take such strength of character. Well, just plain strength. But then, you seem like a strong person. I'm sorry. Is there a question in there? Uh, well, does the program make the man? Or do you think you were born for this? It's a bit of both, I suppose. Every soldier reaches a point in their career, sometimes more than once. When they are asked to give more than they ever thought they could, that moment is the test. I've seen men and women, almost sure to fail, persevere long past the point of breaking. That experience changes them. Others, with all the gifts and abilities, fail in that moment. Sometimes they pick themselves up and carry on. Sometimes they're just done. What about you? What was your moment? I've had a few. None of which I'd like to share. But, uh, I think the toughest tests are still ahead of me. What makes you say that? Call it a hunch. Soldier's intuition? Something like that. Do you trust your intuition? I mean, do you follow your heart over your mind? <laughs> well, <laughs> it depends on the day. No, I... I suppose if I were to be honest, I do trust my instincts. The problem is, war isn't orderly, and the enemy is never predictable. Even the most experienced veteran is going to find themselves in situations they haven't trained for. In those instances, and there's more than I'd like to admit, your instincts are the only thing keeping you alive. That, and the men and women you're fighting beside. But soldiers are only as good as their leader, isn't that true? Yeah. A good leader can make an okay squad great. A bad leader... Well... War tends to make examples of them. What makes a good leader, then? Hmm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men over the success of the mission, but understands that sometimes... the cost of failing a mission is higher than the cost of losing those men. That's a terrible line to have to walk. Yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching.